Hey guys, once again welcome to the new episode of Cloud Insider. Do you remember in late 1999 the computer manufacturer Dell launched the web PC. The computer was small and came in five different colors. The aim of the computer was to simplify the experience of surfing the internet while at the same time being attractive. The quality of the customer's experience will be the defining source of loyalty in the internet era. The web PC is breaking new ground of our industry as we take our one-on-one relationship with customers to the new level of helpfulness. One of the key features of the product was an e-support button which instantly launched a self-diagnostic program. The button could also connect users directly to Dell's award-winning online technical support team. The PC was included a sleep mode designed to eliminate the time spent booting up the computer for internet access. Users could simplify a push a button to instantly wake up the computer. Many of these benefits are made possible by the legacy free designs of the web PC explained by John, the vice president and general manager of Dell Web Products Group. We hand picked every piece of the technology that went into the web PC without caring over any technology from previous PC designs that doesn't contribute to a pure internet experience. The product was heavily marketed through a multimedia advertising campaign centered around the slogan Born to Web, which drove customers to a web PC website and free phone number, both of which acted as direct sales channels. In addition, Dell offered different peripheral products for the web PC including such devices as a digital scanner, a joystick and a digital camera. The press hyped praise on the product although most journalists saw it as an attempt to eco Apple's iMac strategy with its emphasis on an eye catching design and user friendly hardware. In his review from the Washington Post, Alan Kay said that although it focuses more on style than computing, the web PC is a decent PC that I'll do most things you want. However, despite the number of benefits it offered, the web PC was a flop. Dell pulled the machine from the market in June 2002, just 6 months after it realized why a number of reasons. Firstly, the emphasis on design was misguided. Sure, the iMac had been success, but Apple had always been about design and Dell hadn't. Dell's core customers wanted good value and functionally not groundbreaking designs. Dell's web PC was good looking, but its look were ultimately irrelevant. whereas Dell usually uses its own in-house design team for this project the company gave the job to a radial san francisco based design firm called pentagram i have designed great things that have been failures the chief designer told business 2.0 magazine the product didn't fit what dell is about computer users magazine noted another problem oddly dell is targeting its web pc toward home or home office market where users would generally be better off with an expendable upgradable system commented the reviewer Dell's core market was traditionally business oriented there was a price tag although it was billed as a low cost the price of US $999 was more expensive than many competing models consumers are looking at a price first then styling no one aside from apple has been able to crack the styling thing Furthermore, Dell was selling a completely new way by offering a complete package. The world's number 2 computer maker was breaking its typical practice of offering la carte price that allows customers to mix and match computer chips and other components to create a customized PC. If the Dell brand signified anything in signified customization and functionally over design, the web PC failed to offer either one of these values. So here is the lesson from Dell's web PC. First of all, it's not about the product, it's about the brand. The web PC was not a bad product as the plethora of the positive reviews testifies. However, it did not fit well with the Dell brand. Secondly, a low cost product needs to be preserved as such. Although the web PC was good value because the price covered a completely package, it appeared too expensive. Last but not the least, Imitating the competition was a mistake. When computer manufacturers saw the success of iMac, they inevitably wanted a bite of the apple. This proved to be a misguided strategy for Dell, a company normally associated with baggy and boxy computers. For more stories, please like the Cloud Insider page.